Hi everyone, it's Julie here. So today's video is going to be on an in-depth um, information about hormones. I know I made like a couple videos about this, but you know, I read it through my YouTube messages and a lot of, I've seen like a pattern of like, you know, um, people who are starting out to transition. I see like a pattern of like issues and topics that they ask me. And so I wanna address this to everyone who is starting out. Um, but keep in mind, I don't wanna discourage you because there are many times where, you know, I wish these myths um, were true. Um, and you know, people think hormones is like, you know, a miracle drug, it's a miracle pill. I mean, it is in some aspects of it, but um, you know, it doesn't transform you overnight. <laughs> it doesn't like, you know, it's not like a, transformer you don't transform to a different person like it takes so much time and you know sometimes there's like a little effects to like none at all or to like a lot of effects um so let's start off this is going to be like myths about hormones hormone myths um i found an article online that i thought i share with you guys and kind of like my experiences on them okay, so the first myth is um hormones will alter your bone structure and this is a very popular one. A lot of people say, you know, it changes your body, it changes your bone. Um, does it change your, you know, your shoulders? Does it change your feet size? And that is a myth because it's bone. Like it's hard. You can't shrink down bone. Um, you can't, you know, my shoe size. It's 7.5 women's or eight, depending on the shoe, um, the shoe brand. Um, but there's like no rebuilding of, you know skeletal structure like there's just no there's no way so um that's a huge myth all right so the second myth is your voice will change and that's a huge myth because you know they're just hormones they don't do anything to your voice um to change your voice you need to practice have vocal um you know training or have a vocal surgery where they just um tighten the tube or the cords to make your pitch higher you're not gonna it's just gonna your voice in a different pitch higher um pretty much common sense but uh, hormones do not change your voice sadly people want to know does hormones affect your skin your face and your skin and from personal experience yes it does i used to have really bad acne if you knew me um but once i'm on hrt wow like my skin is really smooth my pores have shrunk not that i had large pores before but um it's very it's very soft it's like very soft very clear uh, it's nice so I do believe um, and from talking to different people and their experiences yes it does um, make your skin it ch does change your skin so yeah the next myth is hair on your body um, completely vanishes you have super smooth skin like a woman uh, that is not true you know to everyone everyone is different you know I know people you know for example their breasts after 10 years of this person taking hormones they have absolutely no breast growth and you know, it's just depending on you as an individual and how your body works and your dna and your chemistry and all that stuff like for me it's different i feel like hair is growing even more which is weird because it's supposed to you know shrink and reduce hair in some cases it is but in my case i feel like it it grows hair and i just I don't know, it's weird. Like, I've never had, like, hair grow in some places and it's, like, starting to grow. It's like, um, okay, I have to spend a couple more hundreds to laser you off. That's, that's great. Um, thank you. But to answer this, it's, no, it's a myth. Your hair doesn't magically fall off and you're never going to grow hair again like women. Um, it's just depending on personal, I mean, you're, you're not going to get it disappearly gone. But, you know, it might reduce or it might increase hair growth. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing people ask is how is your sex drive? Like, do you, um, do you get, like, you know, excited? Are you, like, not interested? For me, my personal experience, like, I don't, I don't, I'm, my sex drive is, like, down here. Like, I don't need it. I don't want it. Like, I don't care kind of thing. It's just personal. I don't know. Some people get crazy. Like, kind of reverse effect. But for me, I feel like the estrogen the, sorry the estrogen in your body kind of like reduces like the the male hormones and you're like less aggressive and less like excited all the time um i just i don't know i've got my blood test or my blood work done um uh, but my like estrogen and testosterone levels and stuff and apparently my estrogen level is like more it's like lower than an actual female so yeah i'm so calm all the time unless you make me mad then i get like i, I go crazy like i will slap you in the face yeah <laughs> all right now for the hair on your head um people ask do hormones like 
help make your hair grow faster? To be honest, I feel like it does because my hair is growing really, really fast. Like it's super long now. And I feel like hormones does help my hair grow. Um, I'm not taking anything extra. I'm not taking biotin. I'm not even using mane and tail anymore. I'm just using herbal essence. And I actually really like it. It makes my hair really soft and silky. Um, but I feel like hormones does make my hair grow faster. I don't know, I've asked a couple people too and um, they say that works up for them as well. All right, so you have to be rated 13 and up to listen to this section. Does hormones shrink your pen 15? Um, I have to say it depends on who you are, um, but everything else shrinks in that area. <laughs> From personal experience, yes, it shrinks, girl. Am I missing anything? I feel like I'm missing so much stuff, but I think that was the most important that people are more curious. Um, for boobies, it does grow and it's very, very painful. I think I've like stated this in my Facebook statuses, but honestly, like yesterday, it felt like I was giving birth to like a needle inside my chest. It was like this sharp pain, like someone stabbed you in the titties. Like, oh, girl, mm -mm, honey, it painful. But I mean, it's how much months now? Like 17 months that I've been on hormones and it's growing and hold on sorry like like it's really it's really hard I feel like it's like blooming like the buds like there's like a few buds in there and it like buds and that's how it grows but yeah it's like it's growing like I'm happy about the size I'm thinking of getting like um, breast implants beginning earlier next year. Um, I wanted to do it like last year because I don't know, I just wanted it done because we get so impatient. But I went to my doctor, she's like, no, your boobs are still growing. You can't get them in um, yet because once you get your breast implants and your boobs are still growing, like you're gonna have deformed boobs. And I was like, I don't want that, honey. So it's better to wait. I, like, I'm so impatient, but you know, it's just gonna be worth it. It's gonna fit better, it's gonna look natural. I don't want to go too big, like I don't want to look like I have a big fake tits, like I don't want that. I just want like, you know, oh she has big boobs. I don't want like super like porn star boobs, like I don't think I want that. So I'm planning to go for like a big C cup, but yeah.